Today is the first time that we're going to introduce the Garmin e collar set. Is your dog chewing up your house, dragging you down the street, and jumping on you and all of your guests? Or do you just want your dog to come when called and listen to basic commands? I've put together a comprehensive online dog training program to help dog owners just like you. Gain control and transform your dog from rowdy to obedient without confusion while being coached by a professional through the process. To learn more, visit oradogtraining.com slash learn. All right, so we're gonna put it around the dog's neck. We want to make sure that the collar is tight enough that we have contact, but it obviously is not too tight, so we're not choking the dog. All right, a good way to test that is you can put your fingers under the contact points, and when the collar snaps right back to the dog's neck, that is the perfect tightness. There we go, buddy. Good job. Now, when we introduce the collar to the dog, we want to look at three different levels. There's a perception level, there's a training level, and then there's a correction level. The dog's perception level is when the dog first feels and notices the stem. So now the dog's going to turn his head, there's maybe a twitch in the eye or in the ear. That's when the dog feels the stem, but it's not strong enough to motivate the dog to do something. Now the training level, depending also on where we are and if there's distractions outside, is going to be a little bit higher than that. It's going to be at that level where the dog wants to turn the pressure off. Now this is where we use our leash and give the dog some help and give him direction. So we turn the pressure on, we give him a little bit of leash guidance, not yet buddy, give him a little bit of leash guidance and we can use some food and our praise and open ourselves up to give the dog directions and like yes, very nice, good job the moment that he looks at us and we turn the pressure off. The correction level is always going to be a little bit higher when our dog already understands what it's supposed to do and decides not to do it, we can hold it accountable. All right, let's see how he does. Yes, good boy, buddy. Yes, good boy. Good boy, buddy. Yes, good job, boy. Very nice. Yes, good boy. Good job, very nice. Yes, good boy, buddy, very good. Come, yes, good boy, buddy. Very nice. Very nice. 
there you have it guys. This was our introduction to the e-collar with Duke today. As you could tell, I was also using his meal for a reward. So every time I apply the pressure on the e-collar, I also give a little bit of direction on the leash. And when he turns around, the pressure from the e-collar goes away. And I also reward him with the verbal praise and he gets an extra reward with the food. This way it's more enticing to him and he's more motivated to come back to me. And he understands that the e-collar is nothing bad, but it means to turn around, look at me and follow me. Thanks for watching guys.